guys, what is up? Today we're going to be doing a how to tutorial on how to install the leaked firmware from Samsung for the Galaxy S3. This is the 4.2.2 Jelly Bean firmware and um, this includes a lot of new things like um, the S4 lock screen, the daydream driving mode, new screen modes, actionable notifications, some new additions in notification center, the revamped settings like the S4. Um, there's new gallery modes as well, as well as some new S voice. So um, let's get started. First, what you'll need to do is either get Odin on your computer and flash it, or I'm doing it with Mobile Odin. So Mobile Odin is basically like Odin on the computer, but I find it easier as I have a Macintosh computer and I cannot use it and flash with Odin because Odin does not work. So I use Mobile Odin to flash my firmware, and this is a great software to use as it as it's from the same developers and um, it's a very easy process as it automatically sorts out all the um, modems you need to have all the CSCs everything you need to have so um, it it even keeps the root for you when you flash the firmware so that's a great addition if you have the pro edition and if you don't want to buy the pro edition um, I'll have links down below to the developer thread of the um, of the light edition that should work pro properly I think I think the pro edition only has the um, only has the uh, it keeps the root so yeah so this is the galaxy uh, s3 firmware for 4.2.2 this has no modem so whatever modem you have right now it'll stay the same so it should work um, so let's get started guys so now First thing we need to do is launch Mobile Odin, and we've had it. We have it opened. So I'll have links down below for the leaked firmware and where to download it. So um, it, when you download it, it should come in a .dot uh, zip file, and when you uh, compress uh, unzip, it'll be in a .dot tar .dot md5 file. So after that, we transfer the unzip file to your uh, device preferably the internal SD card and then in mobile Odin we should go select open file and then after that we will select it and then make sure ever root is ticked so you'll still have mobile Odin and that's for pro users only so and um, that is um, if you want to root your firmware so Make sure that enable ever root is checked and inject super user and inject mobile Odin. You should have that checked. And last step is select wipe data and cache and wipe Dalvik cache. This will basically perform a clean wipe, which is often necessary for installing um, firmwares. And then, then we select flash firmware. So we will now click on start installation and we shall continue this as we know what we're doing so yeah just continue this let's just uh, root it again so let's go continue and now let's just check it just in case should be pretty quick so I'll be back when the installation is finished and yep so now that the installation is complete, let's go to the setup. We'll choose English because it comes in this random language I do not know about. So let's go next. Let's go on Wi-Fi. I'll be, um, let's just see Wi-Fi. Let's turn it on. And now I'll just log into my network and we'll be back. Now let's choose date and time. It, all, it automatically gives me my date and time. So that's cool. So let's go next. Um, now we have to log into our Samsung account. And um, I shall be back when this is done. So now that it's signed in, I want to restore my SMSs, my MMS, my current wallpaper, and all my logs that I have. So I'm going to go restore. And now let's just let it download. And um, it's retrieving data, as we can see. And um, the, basically, this is like most of the futures from the S4 that's ported onto the S3. Um, the I don't think the camera application might not be the same, but yeah. So now let's it shows us. So I want to restore all of this. Now let's let it download, and I'll be back when it is done. And now we need to log into our Gmail account. So let's log in. I'll be back when this is done. 
and now let's create a Dropbox account basically now I'm gonna so you get 50 gigs free now let's go down and see we want a camera upload basically so let's go enable and now it's just asking for permission to access your Dropbox let's click allow and now your device is set up and ready to use you have now 4.2.2 Jelly Bean on your Galaxy S3. Thank you guys for watching and please like, subscribe and comment and I'll be back with a review on this device.